Hoosier Preppy Nurse. That's me, Sally. Got my onions going for my French onion soup. And in the meantime, this is for a separate meal, but I'm going to make 24 carrot salad. So this is four large carrots that have been julienned. Uh, we're going to take one fourth cup of, it says a salad oil, but I don't have vegetable oil. I'm going to use avocado oil. I have seen this substituted in some recipes uh, with mayonnaise instead of an oil. They use the mayonnaise as the oil in it. Let's stir that up somewhat. This is just kind of a nice refreshing change. We used to have this a lot when I was a kid and I don't know, everybody just got away from, from making it. It's gonna be, uh, one, it calls for one and a half tablespoons of fresh um, lemon juice. I don't have fresh lemon juice. So we're gonna use, instead of one and a half tablespoons, I'm gonna use one teaspoon because I can always add more of the concentrated. And then it calls for two teaspoons of sugar or honey. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick and dry it because I did not get out a second teaspoon. Um, and then this is my honey. I buy the big jars of honey, like the half gallon size. I get it locally um, from some beekeepers that are north of me. And I usually get one whole gallon at a time because I never know when I'm gonna be back up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the two teaspoons. Um, you can also sub orange juice in place of the lemon juice to make it sweeter, but I don't have any orange juice. So we're gonna go with this. And if you do sub the orange juice, and you want to still make it a little bit sweeter, before you put the raisins in, soak them in orange juice for 20 minutes, discard that orange juice and then use uh, fresh orange juice or new orange juice in the salad. Just love honey. It's one of my favorite sweeteners. I don't use it often enough. I don't sweeten things very often. Then it calls for one half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna go with one fourth teaspoon of salt. I have got Redmond salt. Um, it's from the Great Salt Lakes and it does not have iodine in it, but I'm not a big salt fan. You know what, I'm gonna go with a fourth of it. We'll just do about an eighth of it. Let's mix this together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the raisins in, and these raisins are actually one of those little snack packs that you get for kids for your lunch bags. That's what this is. It's just a tad over a fourth of a cup. And these needed to be used. I've had them for a little while. And as they are just in the box, they're not sealed, they dry even more. Mix this together. And then I'm gonna add some celery seed. It is optional in this recipe. You can do um, a quarter teaspoon, which is what this actually is. Um, celery seed, here we go. And the avocado oil that I used is from Aldi's. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I got it about three or four months ago. I love celery too, so add this in. Then you let this set for one hour just to let it marinate together, let the um, different flavors marry together. And then another optional thing is walnuts, and it calls for one fourth cup of chopped walnuts. And I am gonna add those in, but you don't add those in until right before you're gonna serve it. So even if you're making this the night before, you don't add those in until you get ready to serve it. So I'm gonna let this set. I will bring you back when I taste it and I will let you know how it tastes because this is a little bit different than what my mom made. She always used the mayonnaise, but I'm trying to go a little bit healthier route. 
Okay, guys, so I will be back. It's been right about an hour for the carrots, so I am going to go ahead and mix in my one fourth cup of walnuts. Just give it a good stir here and I'll dish some up. I think next time I would either use a little less oil or put more carrots in it. Try and get this mixed up really good here and let's dish some of it up. See how it tastes. This would actually be really good during the summertime too, but it's just a nice, different type, refreshing salad. I don't know too many people that actually have this anymore. I haven't seen it at any of the gatherings that I've gone to in a long time. Okay, so let's give this a try here. You know what? It's not bad. It really is. It's really pretty good. I can't really taste the lemon juice in it. So I don't know if it's more of a thing to keep the color in the carrots and not let them start getting dark or if it's supposed to be there for flavor. But this is actually pretty sweet the way that it is. It's a good, it's a good balance of it. I can taste the celery seed. The raisins give it a good flavor. The honey gives it an excellent flavor. Mm, I would definitely fix it like this again. Next time I make it, I'll do another video. I'll try it with the mayonnaise and see how that goes. You guys take care. Keep moving forward no matter what. Uh, and sometimes everybody does take a few steps back, but don't give up. Just keep trying. And above all, everybody stay safe and have the best day that you possibly can.